Holiday Scourged and Holiday Gifts are returning in 2021 with lots of new exciting rewards to farm for, as well as a huge change. Let me show you everything you need to know. Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. The holiday season is upon us and Bethesda has created over a dozen of brand new rewards for holiday gifts. But when are Holiday Scorch returning to the wasteland exactly? Well, according to the community calendar, this seasonal event should begin on December 21, a Tuesday. There's still no end date announced though, so expect more official news in the following weeks. Anyway, most of the new gift rewards are actually unique items, which is surprising in a very good way considering the latest rewards we had for Spooky Scorched and even now for season 7. There's also a huge change for the 2021 edition which turned certain items into legacy ones since you can no longer obtain the respective plans. Let's start there and then dive deeper into each reward. Let's do this! For a very long time, holiday gifts always had to reward lists for taxidermy items, also known as the animal mounted heads. We had a common and rare list, but now for known reasons Bethesda decided to disable the common list. This information has already been confirmed by several data miners. This means that any new holiday gift will no longer drop common taxidermy plants, such as the cat, dog, or even fox mounted heads, for example. There are 16 different common taxidermy rewards, so if you didn't have a chance to farm all of them in early events, I have bad news for you, since you won't be able to farm them at the current time because there's no active source anymore, with the exception of old holiday gifts. Yeah, there are two versions of these items now in game, and each version has different reward pools. Anyhow, I checked the game files, and indeed, the common taxidermy rewards list is no longer attached to holiday gifts, at least the latest version, only the rare list remains there. As such, the common animal heads have become legacy items for the time being. I have no idea why would Bethesda come up with this sort of change, but they did. Perhaps it was unintended, a noopsie as I call it. So far I haven't seen any official statements about this, so I suppose we have to wait to learn more about this matter. Alright, now let's proceed to the new rewards. One of the most interesting new rewards for holiday gifts in 2021 is the vintage water cooler. It doesn't just look great, it also fits the Fallout world perfectly and it comes with benefits. Yep, this item is not just for decoration, no no no, it's actually a water resource machine. It generates purified water regularly, like the water purifier for example, but in terms of storage it's much smaller, it can only hold to water at a time. I waited some 20 minutes for testing and this machine never produced more than two at once, so that's how I know. Moreover, this cooler doesn't have any requirements, no water soil and no power source either, surprisingly, so I think this will become the most versatile way to farm purified water from now on, if you can put your hands on the plan, of course. <laughs> Lastly, the vintage water cooler comes with a lot of detail. There's even this bubble effect inside the water tank. It's a pretty realistic one too, so nice touch there, Bethesda. I'm really impressed with his rewards, especially with the way it merges utility with visuals. The Holiday Scorched event is also receiving two new red rocket lights. Both of them are like small art pieces. The first one is called Red Rocket Gas Station Lamp and it's absolutely fascinating. It uses a gas pump as support for the bulb. I think that's a genius idea, actually. It's literally, as the name says, it couldn't be more spot on. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I discovered you can even attach these lamps to one another to create some sort of lamp structure where the pumps work as connectors. Sadly, this lamp is not very strong. Here's a comparison during the day and night time. 
As such, if you want to use this item for both decor and lightning purposes, I recommend you to use multiple at once because one lamp won't do the job for you. Not really. Unless you're looking for a candle environment, sort of. In that case, yes, one will be more than enough. The second red rocket light being added to the holiday gifts is this gas station lamp with a very warm colored tone. In terms of light intensity, it works just like a regular lamp, it's like medium intensity. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison also between day and night time. The difference is quite noticeable, isn't it? Fun fact, this lamp comes with smaller lights at the red rocket logo and even at the base, just like a real gas station. It's pretty cool. As I mentioned in the previous point, this is another piece of art. Just look at all the detail here, guys. It's impressive. Each side of the lamp's base has a design, while the front is a typical gas station with a pump, entry, support, slides, and so on. The back shows machinery, like cables and grids. It's like Bethesda transformed the real gas station asset and turned it into this sort of miniature for the lamp space. Hey, maybe that's really what happened, for all we know. If that's the case, good job, it looks amazing. Certainly a must-have item for your bar or kitchen area. Even if you don't need the light, this type of art is meant to be shown to the world. So if you get it, don't miss the chance to display it. I surely will if or when I get it. Another interesting new reward is this bundle featuring four barbed wire fences. Once you learn the plan, you will get two new entries under the fence in building mode, one with two fences and another with two gates. There's one small fence and gate and then one long fence and gate respectively. Until date, Bethesda hasn't released that many fences, so I think this is a decent addition to 76 in general, plus it's free. However, these items appear to come with its share of bugs. During my first tests, I discovered a few already, such as the long gate not attaching to the fences, it never toggles even with the option active, and the only way to place it on a foundation is to put it on the very top, which will then create different levels as shown in the footage because the rest toggles on and it attaches to part of the foundation. Another bug I discovered is related to placement. I had serious issues placing these fences when there was like some water. Even if like 90% of the space was soil, it kept giving me this error about how the item cannot be placed in the water but there's like no water, it's like 1% or something, I don't know. However, if I place a fence on pure soil and then auto-attach new fences inside the water, it works, like I'm showing in the footage. Just like that, like magic. It's called defying logic, guys. It happens often in 76. But overall, I think this fence bundle will please a lot of players. It's always useful and convenient to have such items. And as I said, it's free, so why not? The next new reward is also a bundle featuring three yellow curtains. There is a normal, wide and long versions in the building mode and each one shows separately under wall decor instead of being all stacked up in one entry. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. Now, these curtains are supposed to have flowers in the fabric as the name indicates, but unless I'm getting blind, I really can't see any flowers. I even zoomed in as much as I could and all I see is worn fabric holes and this sort of subtle diamond pattern no, really, where are the flowers? I, I think Bethesda might have added the wrong name or the wrong texture, one or the other for sure. Anyway, we don't have that many tattered curtains, so I think this is also a fine addition to the game. It will pair well with typical wasteland camps, where most things are old, broken and worn out, so I like this one as well. It's not summertime yet, but Bethesda is adding a new wall fan, which actually works. So if you find yourself in need of a little cold breeze this winter, make sure to install one of these at your camp. Despite being labeled as wall decor, this item can be dynamic. If an active generator and power conduit are nearby, it will start spinning and spinning. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of a known 
powered fan and a powered fan as well. Now, despite the working fans, this is all just an illusion, guys. If you stand close, you will quickly realize that everything remains static, as if no air is being pulled at all, even though it looks like it is. But on the other hand, it's how it works with every other fan in 76, so it shouldn't come as a surprise. What else is being added to holiday gifts? Hmm, a giant Nuka Cola rug. That's right. This new rug can be found under floor decor. Once learned, it features a Nuka girl with the Nuka Cola logo and lots of normal Nuka Cola bottles placed at the edges. This round rug can occupy one foundation in size. Moreover, as typical of 76 rugs, it comes with a decent level of detail and this sort of rough texture. The best part is, it's another free red item for the collection, so do enjoy! New plushies have been a common trend for seasonal events lately, and this time it's no different really. You can now get a behemoth plushie from New Holiday Gifts, but this behemoth version is a very alternative one, if I say so myself. I mean, just look at that. Is it me or this behemoth kind of looks like a rock or pop star with the pink hair, the skull belt and all the spikes? Last I checked, the behemoth in 76 looks nothing alike. Anyway, this plushie is based off an existing asset, Graham's plushie, with a slightly different pose and a few modifications. Now, I'm not trying to imply this new item is terrible or something alike, no, far from it. I find it really cute and stylish, but to claim this is a behemoth representation, um, no, it's stretching the line too much. I mean, I look at it and I see a lot of things, however, Behemoth is not one of them. <laughs> no. Nevertheless, despite the misguiding name, it's a very nice reward. I hope I get it at some point. Now, let's go over some new old rewards. Yep, Bethesda is also adding a few entries which were rewards from other activities. The gorilla stands are a great example of that. These taxidermy plants used to be part of the Treasure Hunter Peel rewards in 2020, but somewhere along the time during this year, Bethesda removed it and added these two specific plants to the rare taxidermy list for holiday gifts. Mm hmm. I looked into the game files and I can confirm this is true, it's there. The great news here is that if you missed Gorilla Boys during previous editions of the Treasure Hunters, then be aware that you can try to get them now with the holiday gifts. Good luck! Moving forward, Bethesda has redistributed several Nuclear Winter Overseer rewards across Adventure Mode activities and now they added three more for the holiday gifts. Let's start with the blue camo paint for power armors. It used to be a rank 15 reward for Nuclear Winter, and now it's a rare reward part of the gifts. This paint can be applied to the T45, 51, 60, Excavator and X01. Here's a front and back view side by side, just so you can see how it looks like in game in case you are not familiar with it. It's really not a bad paint, it's a great fit for winter as well. Blue, cold, icy and so on. Talking about winter, Bethesda also released the blue camo paint for the 44 pistol. It also used to be a nuclear winter overseer reward for rank 11 and now it's part of the extensive holiday gift rewards list. Yeah, things are getting really diluted over here. Just like the power armor, the skin follows the camo style with the same blue cyan color scheme. Too bad not a lot of players use pistols as their weapon of choice, especially not the 44 type, so I'm afraid the skin will not be very popular. The last reward being added to holiday gifts in 2021 is the Vault 51 jumpsuit, yet another ex-Nuclear Winter reward. It was actually the very first Overseer reward for rank 1, so the only way you don't own this item yet is if you never ever played a Nuclear Winter match. For new players, this is definitely a nice way to access the jumpsuit. Keep in mind that this is just another standard vault suit, only the number changes in the back, pretty much. The available mods are also shared with the other existing vault jumpsuits, just to make it clear. 
These are the 18 new rewards being added to the holiday gifts in 2021. In my opinion, there's plenty of interesting new entries here, such as the vintage cooler machine and the red rocket lights. I really think such creative items are the type of items most people appreciate and want for 76, instead of a reskin of a skin or just plain recycled stuff. Sure, there are some old re-entries as well, but at least there is a balance here. There is new and there is old. Anyway, with 18 new entries, it means the general rewards pool got even more diluted. As such, the chance to loot each individual reward is even slimmer in 2021. Here are some updated sheets by the data miner Maddock Roth with the new drop rates for the rare taxidermy rewards and for the rare plants from crafted gifts as well. I'm also leaving the link to the general data miners festive rewards sheet below the video. I believe they will update the info there very, very soon. One last note, don't forget about your Santatron Collectron if you locked it in the past. They find free gifts for you, so don't let it go into waste and gather all the gifts you can. Free goodies, everyone. Don't forget that. All right, then. That's it for now. I'm quite pleased with these new additions. I hope you are too. Feel free to leave a like and comment below if you have any questions and consider subscribing if you haven't done it yet. I am Marta Branco and I will see you all very, very soon in the next video. Lastly, a huge thanks to all my dear supporters. You guys are the best. Until then, take care. Adios, bye bye.